let's get right into the video. Today I have another product review. Um, this is the Canon Selfie CP1300 compact photo printer. Um, some of you that watch my channel regularly are probably thinking, oh my, you're making another product review. But I kind of like to do these because I think they're very helpful. And before I buy stuff, I watch product reviews as well. So this is the device. Of course, this doesn't come with it. It's an SD card. Um, now, this one I paid, I believe, $87 or 84 no, $84.97, I think. Um, it was on a special price. Normally, I see it on sale for like $100. Um, but this is it. It's not a touch screen, as you might think. That's one little annoying part. You have to buy their special paper because it has these tabs on the end. Oh, maybe I can show you. Uh, actually, I can't easily show you, but it's longer than regular paper because of the way that it works. So I'm gonna, this front part opens up and the paper cartridge slides in, which I often need two hands for. But I won't do that fully right now. Now on the side, you're probably thinking, oh, it's probably the ink cartridges, but no, it has an ink ribbon. Which looks like this. Um, and that's really useful. You don't have to change out cartridges. You do, you do have to change out this depending on what um, ink ribbon set you buy. You have to change it out a number of times. Um, now let's power it on. There we go. So, I believe this paper thing is all the way in. This device can do all sorts of things. Um, mostly, well, you can print off an SD card like this. Um, you can, it also has a spot where you can plug in flash drive and other stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you can plug in your phone, but I do know that you can print wirelessly with this. So I'm going to click the select and print, which is using that button. We're going to insert our memory device. I don't even know what photos are on here. Okay, I'm not going to show you that person. I don't, she doesn't normally like to be filmed. Here we go. This is a little photo I took in Bar Harbor when we were there. Um, so when I want to print something, all I do is click OK. I'm going to click Print. I'm going to make sure it has room behind because you will see it actually pops out in the back and it does a one color layer at a time. It tells you it's doing the yellow. Now you're probably thinking this is probably pretty slow compared to other photo printers, but I would say that it's about the same speed since I have a um, photo printer downstairs and it's pretty slow for printing a 4x6. Um, one of my only complaints with this is of course I said it's not a touch screen, but also the way they package their paper. The paper comes depending on which package you buy. I bought the RP108 um, and it came. It comes with the two ink ribbons that have 54 um, on each. 54 kind of spots for the print. So here's the print. You're probably thinking why does it have these two bars on the side? That's how I said it pulls, the printer pulls it through. And then you can easily snap these off. They don't normally rip the page. And I would say it's pretty high quality. I did take this with a nice camera. Um, camera. The quality of this photo is actually in a better resolution than I'm recording with this camera. So it's not going to look as nice. It also has many other functions. Um, more print options. You can make collages and all this other stuff. Um, but this is a review so I'm not going to be going through all these features. Um, so the paper comes in multiple um, kind of single-use packets. If you really want, we'll go out and show you. There's some of them up here. They come in all these sheets like this, all these packets, and another ink roll is what makes up the, here you can see me, um, is what makes up 
the RP108. So that's a review of this little printer. I would say those are my pretty much only downsides. You can buy a battery for the back. Um, now, about the price of everything, I already said the price of the printer. The price for the paper um, is normally about $30 for one of those packages, but you can sometimes get it cheaper. I bought mine when they were on sale for $25. So it's a little less than $0.25 cents per print, but of course that's not factoring in the price of the printer. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, you can always subscribe below. And I hope that if you get this printer, then you enjoy it as much as I do.